Hello everybody, it is Zach here and in this video we are going to be working on this trailer. This is a 4x8 trailer that I got from my dad a while back and I have uh, replaced the leaf springs and put a new deck on it but you can see there's some steel on top. What I'm going to be doing in the video here is I'm going to be redoing the tongue of the trailer. Um, I've already extended it but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently and I'll explain that to you in a little bit and then I'm also going to be changing up the decking a little bit as well so stay tuned I'm going to be unloading the steel and then we will get to work so I hope you enjoy okay well now I have the axle off and have this thing flipped over. I did cut the tongue off of, or the uh, yeah, the tongue off of it already, because to flip this thing over, it's that's extremely heavy. It's a, uh, it's some thick, round tubing. <laughs> so now I'm working on getting these triangle pieces cut off, and then I can uh, put on my new two by three tongue and inch and seven eighths receiver. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm really amazed by the the beads that this thing can make. Here's what it'll look like. The tongue seems like it's really long, but I actually prefer a long tongue on a trailer because it's easier to back up and uh, <clears throat> and I can put my canoe on here, my 17 foot canoe that's hanging out up there. I can put that right on here and it fits on here well balanced. That's why I uh, extended the tongue the first time. So, I don't know why, but this doesn't look super square. And I don't know if the trailer is out of square or what. So I have to get the my large square and see what's going on. Mm. A little out. But I know that the trailer isn't perfectly square because I, ch I uh, had problems with that when I redid the um, leaf springs. So, oh, what do you do? I don't know. I don't want this thing to trail behind me weird. That does look a little bit out. Hmm. Well, it's going to take me a minute to figure this out because i got to see what's out of square here and then I'll come back to you. Alright, we had a uh, little dinner break and uh, now we're back. So I was, work I was working on these welds here. I gotta put down a few more passes. Just doing some multi-passes to make up for the uh, for the uh, bevel I guess you could say or the gap in the in the tubing. Um, front is tacked and this is nice and strong so once I get the back welded I'm gonna keep welding on the front here and then we'll have to uh, design our A-frame and go from there but I'm really happy with how this trailer is turning out so far it's gonna be a fair bit lighter uh, the weight of this one tube is probably about as much as just this two foot section. All this was just extra added on weight. And uh, it'll make it a, a good amount lighter and that'll be good. So I'm just going to keep on working here.
All right, just got done doing uh, all the welding I wanted to do today. I ended up uh, re-welding the mount for the uh, for the slipper springs because the other welds on them I didn't really like, so I cut them all out and uh, they're looking a lot better now, a lot more uh, uniform. Uh, that's the difference between a 110 welder and a 220 welder is you just got so much more uh, power to weld thicker material and get really good penetration. But all the uh, welds are done on the front here. I did multi-pass. I can't remember how many. Uh, three or four on each one in a really nice deep root pass and uh, I'm very confident that those will hold on forever. I think that'll last a long time. So this is a piece of one by one angle iron. It's three sixteenths wide, thick, and uh, I'm gonna need two pieces that are two feet because I'm gonna make the triangle that goes up in here. I was gonna use two by two tubing, and I decided not to because I don't think it needs to be that heavy duty. This will work good because it'll have an edge to it, and uh, and the edge will line up really, really nice with the edge of that. I'm going to essentially cut this piece in half, and then wherever it lands together, it will. And it'll look like that. I'll get either a piece of expanded metal or or a piece of wood to sit in the triangle, so you can use it as a nice little uh, storage area. So that's what I'm doing now. All right, so I have this all installed now. It came out pretty close to perfect. The only flaw is that it didn't quite line up on this side. There's a little bit of a gap, probably less than a quarter inch. So I said it was good enough. I wasn't gonna waste this whole piece. It welded up just fine. So these are on there, that's awesome. Got this all welded, I have to do a little more work to the top here, but uh, I'm gonna hit it with the grinder and do that a little later. Now, I'm working on the jack. This is the jack from the old one, and I wanna mount it like this. I know this isn't a weld on, but it's gonna be. All right, well, that thing's robbed of all its parts. I got the trailer jack on here. I welded it, that's just silver paint. It's not actually aluminum. But I got some welds on there. Right there, there's some on the bottom side too. It works wonderful. And look at that. I did not plan this, I did not measure it or anything. But it just so happened that this toolbox, which I believe is about the size of my other one, just sits on these rails perfectly. So. I couldn't be happier about that. <laughs> Very good. It'll be perfect for, uh, you can put a propane tank up there or anything. The outside ones are for sure gonna get <clears throat> ground out because I can't bear to look at that. Um, also, I kind of ground down the uh, leaves here 
because when I was underneath there, I noticed that it wore a spot on the rail here, wherever it is, I can feel it right in there. It kind of wore out a divot. So I, uh, I was gonna weld a pad underneath there, but I'm just gonna keep my eye on it. I ground those down so they're nice and smooth and I'll put a little grease on them too. But I'm about done for tonight. I got a huge mess. The whole floor, you can see all the grinding dust and I got chain and tools laying everywhere. So I'm gonna get all this stuff packed up and tomorrow will be a, a good day. We're gonna get these chains welded on tomorrow. I gotta devise something here to put those on um, and I gotta get all four of those things ground down and re-welded and then I have to remount the 2 by 4 sides they were on top I have to remount them on the bottom and then uh, we'll probably end up going to Menards and getting a sheet of plywood and some 2 by 4 so I can make my rails for the side and uh, at that point I'll start looking at the back because I want a uh, three foot gate on the back here that's going to fold down but I also want to move those lights so I got to figure all that in but she's looking good I said before that this thing is really heavy now on the front but I wasn't thinking when I said that because it doesn't even have the tires in the right spot so how much weight is on here is going to drastically change when the fulcrum point gets put back on there so I think it should be lighter in the front than it was before and if the front end looks a little bit long that's because it is it's actually six inches longer than before because when I measured that tube I measured it from this old piece and uh, well I measured the full piece out just for the tube not including the receiver <clears throat> end right there so yeah Whatever, I like a longer tongue. It doesn't look that bad. They're easier to back up, and uh, the canoe will fit on the canoe will fit on here that much better. So I don't really care. There's not going to be any flex. That's three sixteenths square tube or rectangle tube, so it's not going to go anywhere. That's for sure. And yeah, we'll get those all ground out tomorrow. I got to figure out the fender still. We got some stuff that we got to figure out, but I need to air out the garage. Look at how smoky it is in here. I'm been breathing this in all day and I got kind of a scratchy throat from it but all right thanks for watching I'm gonna get this place flipped up and cleaned up and uh, tomorrow will be a new day thanks for watching guys